Hello everyone, welcome back. This is part 7 of the design patterns tutorial. In this session, we will learn how to create a simple employee web application using ASP.NET MVC and will create a custom logger library using singleton design pattern which logs exceptions to an external file. Please refer to the previous parts of the tutorial before proceeding. Let's switch to Visual Studio. Let's create a new project and choose other project types and select a blank solution and let's name it as employee portal. Let's add a new project and choose web ASP.NET web application and let's say it as web. Let's add a new item and choose SQL Server database and name this database as employee portal now that we have created employee portal database let's open that let's add a table called employee let's add columns to this employee table such as name which is a where care let's add uh, job description Let's add a column called number. Also, let's add department. Let's click update. Update completed successfully. Let's change this ID by giving a identity specification to true. Let's also make name, job description and number as mandatory. Let's update it back. Update database. Look at that. Update completed. Let's generate a model out of this database table. Right click on models, add new item and choose ADO.NET entity data model. Let's name this as employee model. Let's press add. Look at that. It has given multiple options to generate the model. Let's choose the first one. Say next. By default it has selected the employee portal MDF file. Let's click next. Let's choose entity framework 6.x. Let's say next. Look at that. It has presented with the tables. Let's choose employee table and click finish. Look at that. Employee model generation is completed. Now let's switch to Solution Explorer and add an employee controller. Right click on the controllers, click add, choose controller. Look at that. By default MVC5 controller with views using entity framework is selected. Let's select that and click on add. Let's choose the model class as employee and choose the data context class as employee portal entities. Let's click on add. Look at that. The Visual Studio has generated an employee controller as well as its corresponding views under the views and employees folder. Let's compile this application. The compilation succeeded. Let's run this application and see the output. Let's type the controller name employees here. Press enter. Look at that. We are able to create a new employee. Let's name the employee as John, job description as manager, number as A0123 and department as HR. Let's create an employee. Look at that, employee creation successful and we are able to perform the operations such as edit and we can view the delay details as well as we can delete this employee. For now, let's switch back to the Visual Studio and stop the application. With this, we have successfully created a simple employee portal that handles all the CRUD operations such as create, edit and delete. This portal works very well in the happy path scenarios. Now imagine the situation when some exceptions occur while adding or editing an employee. To handle those exceptions, let's create our own custom exception logger library. Let's right click on the solution and click on add new project. Let's choose class library. 
name it as logger let's add an interface choose interface let's name this interface as ilog let's create an interface method called log exception which accepts message as input parameter let's change this interface as public let's choose class 1 let's bring the singleton code which we have created in our previous examples into this class 1 look at that this is the singleton instance which we have created in our earlier examples let's change this singleton class name as log let's remove the counter values here as we don't need them in this example let's also remove the print details let's inherit the ilog interface that we have created and let's implement the interface which is the log exception to save some time I have already written the code to implement the log exception let's bring the code from the notepad let's also rename this class to log.cs now if you inspect the code we are creating a stream writer to log the exceptions to an external file path and we are choosing the current domain's base directory as the file path we are assigning the file name as current dates short date string as well we will skip further discussion of this code as this is pa not part of the scope now it's not mandatory that we need to log exceptions to an external file we can also log the exceptions to a database table or to an event source or to any other external sources for our convenience we have chosen to log the exceptions to a flat file let's switch to the employee controller and handle the potential exceptions that may arise in the create and update and other CRUD operations let's create a public employee controller constructor and let's create a private ilog using logger underscore ilog and let's initialize this ilog using log dot get instance now this singleton get instance will get instantiated into ilog there are many ways to handle exceptions in the MVC applications for this example let's choose the virtual on exception method of the base controller and overwrite the same let's go to the definition of the base controller and look at that there is an on exception method which is defined as a virtual method so let's flip back to this employees controller and override this virtual method let's say protected override void and say on exception look at that let's invoke ilog dot log exception and pass the filter context dot exception dot to string now the ilog dot log exception will take care of the logging the exception so let's mark the filter context dot exception handle to true post the exception is handle let's return the error view this dot view and let's say error dot execute result of this dot controller context the on exception method will take care of handling any known and unknown exceptions that are thrown in this employees controller we don't need to explicitly add any try catch in each of these methods or in each of these controller methods now let's compile this application look at that compilation succeeded now in order to simulate error logging let's change the employee table open table definition and let's make the department as mandatory 
and update it. Let's update the database as well. Update completed successfully. Now let's run this application. Now in the employee creation, if I don't pass the department, it should throw me an error. Let's create an employee. Let's say Smith. Job description, let's say clerk. And let's give his employee number A1234. Let's leave the department empty and let's click on create. Look at that. It has thrown an error. Let's press F5. Look at that. It has redirected to an error page. Let's see what is logged in the error log file. Let's go to the web and look at that. There is an exception log with date 25 June 17 is created. Let's just open that and look at that. It has thrown an error stating that it cannot insert the null value into column department. With this we have proved that singleton design pattern comes handy in the situations where we need to have a single instance of the object like how we have now implemented the exception logging. Now to consider another example, imagine a situation where we need to implement cache management in the application. In that case, we can use and leverage on singleton design pattern as we can handle reads and writes to external caches using the single cache instance object. With this, we hope you are now familiar with the singleton implementation. Please feel free to post your comments if you are looking for more examples with singleton design pattern. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.